adjustable adjustable rack. Mm -hmm. Keep going. We get ready for bed, yeah? Oh, bro. Yes. Keep going, please. Up. Good job. You almost there. Good job. Now we go to your room. space <laughs> that's where we meant to have a dishwasher guys so now it's around 3 30 oh, yeah. in the evening and i'm preparing dinner right there yeah, yeah. we are having chickpeas and i think yeah, i'm gonna yeah. make it with rice yeah, yeah. so i'm yeah. attempting to organize yeah, yeah our meals in advance so on monday i do a meal plan for the rest of the week and buy all the ingredients that we need for the meals put them in the fridge pantry whatever and on the day we just cook whatever we need to cook so today is wednesday and we already had these egg and pork noodles but we didn't do pork i did it with beef just because i didn't find yeah, means pork yeah. it was delicious it was delicious actually here are yeah, some of the leftovers yeah. that my boy was just having for lunch this was delicious and i'm not a perfect cook but i can put some two ingredients together to come up with a meal and this we used um egg noodles instead of rice noodles which was a hit 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 and then one of the days i think yesterday we had roast chicken and veggies which um was for day seven and then today we're gonna have chickpea curry we're gonna have chickpea curry and then we go you know until the entire food in the freezer is finished so yeah that's just me sharing that i'm i'm starting my meal plan i used to meal plan before yeah. i was a mom but since becoming a mom as you can imagine things are just you know yeah. you're yeah. kind of thrown off your routine yeah. for a while or if i'm speaking yeah. for myself and someone is just singing huh. yeah. Yeah. So we've chopped up some onions, um, lots of it, tomatoes, green, red, yellow capsicum, and carrots, a lot of carrots, some cilantro, coriander stems, and garlic, and then the, oh, someone's taking my cup, and then the coriander leaf, we'll put that on top once everything is cooked. So at this point, I think I'm just going to take out some because I would like to make uh, hummus, hummus, hummus. So, and I'm going to be using these chickpeas. So I'll put some in here to, to use for my hummus, <laughs> hummus, hummus, however you choose to pronounce it. So...
so i just had to mash a little bit for baby because i think the chickpea is a little bit crunchy and i didn't have the patience to keep um boiling them so that's for mommy that's for baby yeah that's for mom i think that's yum So hi guys, today is Friday and the only agenda for the day is to go shopping. I've tried. It's high time we find something. Akiona. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. So I'm going to go do window shopping, um, shop for a dishwasher and I hope I find one that I like so guys let's go shopping that's kind of cool Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you got that? Yeah. That's at nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine for sure. Yep, for sure, Michael. Yeah, and it's just your standard soap. So that uses your tablet, uh, like all dishwashers, you use your tablets and your, and it opens up automatically to release the tablet. And then you've got LG at eight ninety nine in the white. Mm -hmm. You want stainless no. or white? Yeah, stainless. Stainless. Yeah. You got the high sense around the uh, sorry the hay is around the back at seven ninety nine. Mm hmm. Hey, uh. But the best on the market that you're looking at would be uh, Miele and Asco. Yeah. They're the top of the range. They're they're quite sustainable and. And how much are those? The the high. The Asco start from two thousand ninety nine and work their way up. Okay. But they're built to last over ten years. Okay. Okay. These machines are anywhere from four to five years. Yeah. And then you just move them through. They're not designed for longevity. Oh, okay. Okay, that's yeah. why they're designed at a price point. Yeah. You got it. So this one is on offer. It opens so rough though. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a good seal on it. Yeah. Um. Uh, me. Yeah. They're a different quality. That's two thousand two hundred ninety. Oh wow. These are different again. These, they've got a different stainless, different pump, different wash sequence. Yeah. Mm. They even feel different. Yeah, correct. It's like when you open a, a, a nice car, it's got a nice smooth action. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for now, that's not in our budget. Yep. Yep. We just want something to keep going. Or even these, mm. LG. LG aren't too bad. Actually, they're, they're not too bad at all. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah. That's the LG there. That's got your... Uh, your cutlery tray as well, so you yeah. can put your knives and spoons. Yeah. Four spray arms on the bottom. Adjustable adjustable rack, mm. so you can give a bit of height on the bottom. And if you've got tall glasses, yeah. you can drop it down. Mm. And just the usual. We sell about 10 of them a week. These ones, the LG ones. LG, yeah, little touch control. That's your black one. Finally, we've got a dishwasher. 
Oh my goodness, finally we've got a dishwasher. Ha. Mm -mm. My hands will be so grateful and thankful to me. They offer services for someone to come and install the dishwasher, a third party from uh, the good guys. And they will be coming on my birthday, which is in a week's time. So next Wednesday is my birthday. And that's the day that the plumber or somebody will be coming to install the dishwasher. But I think that's going to be a good gift to myself. So, yeah, I'm excited. This is how you know you're getting old. Like, I'm so excited to just have an easy something to help me, you know, run my kitchen um, smoother and... Yeah, I'm just really excited. It was hell though to decide because you go thinking you want one thing and then you end up seeing there's so many things, you know, there's so many ad added advantages. And I'm just glad that I was able to stick within our budget. I didn't go overboard, though I was very close to going overboard with buying something that was way, way, way above our budget. You know, these things, you just have to be disciplined because once you go shopping for these gadgets, there's always going to be something more expensive and more appetizing or more enticing. So, yeah, I'm really glad that I was able to stay within our budget. And the most important thing is that we have a dishwasher now. Well, not yet. It's not going to be delivered for a week, which, I mean, washing my dishes uh hand washing dishes for a week is not too bad so yeah i will show you guys when the dishwasher arrives i think this will be in the next week's uh vlog i will show you the one that i chose and all the exciting features that made me choose the specific one that i chose so yeah guys i'll see you once i get home so guys this is a few hours later we are back home and and i'm gonna show you guys uh what i bought tell me why i never leave the house and come back empty-handed not buying anything for my baby <laughs> guys these two hats tell me why i found myself buying them for 40 dollars like these two one for 20 and one for 20 like what in the world like these two hats costed me forty dollars like i was paying for them and i'm like i'm sure i can find them for five dollars somewhere but i was like it's okay i've already paid i've already liked them they do have um pockets i don't even know what i was thinking guys but these are the things that i want to change like just this impromptu shopping i don't know if i'm mad or I'm just disappointed in myself, to be honest. And with that said, before I even get into the uh, haul, I'm starting to budget. I am getting my budgeting game back on track. Right before COVID, when COVID started, I used to budget. I used to have a channel for budgeting and I used to budget every dollar that I earned. Like I used to know where each and every of my coin used to go. And things just happen along the way and I never I stopped tracking my money I just I just fell off the bandwagon and I never budgeted again but now I want to get back into it and by the way guys budgeting doesn't mean that I'll be denying ourselves what we enjoy it's just to have to spend on purpose not just to spend because the money is there yet it's really not there like today why did i even spend 40 dollars for this to hurt he has anyway guys you get the point but at least he's got something new so i also got this two coconut milk mm. coconut water yeah my husband drinks plenty of that i got two of them i got full cream milk and someone is calling me i'll just pick up the phone and get back to you why do i even bother Cameras. I went ahead and grabbed some eggs for breakfast and I've been craving white toast lately so I got myself white toast. We also 
on kimchi got some kimchi which i've already gotten into so that's just from woolies and i got some butter because we were running out of butter and some strawberries two raspberries and strawberries my son loves strawberries uh and blueberries but i couldn't find blueberries so raspberries will have to do and i got some chips never tried them so we'll try them and the see how they go and i got some coconut oil so what i want to do with the coconut oil i can't remember what it's called but i was talking to a friend the other day and they have been um rinsing their mouth with coconut oil in the morning and they swear by it like your teeth become whiter and all the bacteria in your mouth kind of you know goes away so you take a spoonful of the coconut oil and just put it in your mouth for a minute or two and just and chuck it out so i'm what i bought this to try that and of course i'll let you guys know how that goes and then um i got an one avocado and two lemons so the lemon and avocado these are for making um what is it called hummus i boiled some chickpeas from yesterday and i saved some to make hummus so i'll be using these two lemon and i'm gonna bring you guys along when i start making the hummus which i think will be either um, today evening or tomorrow i don't know but we'll make hummus together and lastly i got these macro and kippers smoked ones so i just like to snack on these during the day when i'm not so hungry or when i don't want a full meal i just snack on some fish which is good for my iron so yeah guys that's it for the things that i got today but i'm so excited about the dishwasher so glad that i got to take that box away um and can't wait um so it's going to be i think i already mentioned in my previous clip that the dishwasher will be installed on my birthday which is next week so guys i will see you later on when i'm making hummus so wait let me put my stuff into the fridge and wash the fruits so I'm ready now to make my hummus and this is what we're gonna need. The ingredients that I'll be using to make my hummus is olive oil and one clove of garlic and a lemon, one lemon and of course a blender. I think some people may use a um, food processor but I have a blender so that's what I'll be using and tahini of course. This is the main ingredient, tahini with your chickpeas these are the two main ingredients for your hummus and hummus hummus and that's what we're gonna be doing so put this in the blender together with this and blend and then put a little bit of the olive oil garlic and a dash of lemon and that's it hopefully we get a good consistency see because my chickpeas have they have this skin and I can't be bothered to take the skin off. If you need a soft, soft hummus, you take off the skin. I can't be bothered because <laughs> it's just too much work. So I'll just do it with the skin on and hopefully it's going to be soft enough or smooth enough. About to have a taste, Nyonje, my homemade hummus. Have you had it before? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so we're gonna try with these chips that i got earlier today but you're supposed to have the healthy way of eating hummus you use carrots or celery <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, bonja. Yes, it is. Ah, ah, una deep. So, see, it is. Evo. Ha 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 Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I hope you try to make these at home. And you can also make tahini at home. I don't know how to, but you can do a quick Google search. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna sit down. Ignore the mess there, but yeah, that was a hit. I love it, and I'll just put this one in the fridge to eat as we go. See you later. Not that way, this way. Yeah. yeah, there's a door here. One step at a time. Oh, Good job. He's <laughs> <laughs> going to the garden. Yeah. Not that way. Go through the gate. Yep. Yeah. Oh. In here, Danny. Oh, doing a little bit of harvesting. Can it? Hmm. Yeah. 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 Capsicums, yeah. Are these ready to be picked? Can it? Nashindo kianguka baba. Oh, Iggy. Oh, is that really saying, Iggy? Yeah. He's taking that. These were the purple beans. Oh. But they're finished. So. Um, here on where I'm stepping. Yeah, all along here was the purple beans. Oh. There's me. Rosemary behind you. Oh yeah, that's. I had that in a pot. I had to take all the little flowers off. Cause it's growing crazy, and here is your green capsicums. More capsicums. How are they going? They're big. And that after my indi. And that would put you my indi. Yeah, but that that brings back memories from home. Should I pick more beans? Do you think it's ready to be picked, Baba? Do you think it's ready? Do you want to try and pick it? It's so much nicer than the Yeah. Ooh, what is this? Tuna capsicum.
Oh, strawberries as well. He loves strawberries. Do you want a strawberries, Baba? <laughs> Take a <our> strawberries. <laughs> I'll pick it for him. The watermelon and these two. And we tried, cheese. we had some today. They were juicy. Very juicy. Here, you have your straw. In your mouth. It. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But yeah. And capsicum? Okay. Bye.